Gypsy, up! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on, Gypsy, up! <laughs> Are you tired? Are you tired out? All right, everyone. So I don't even think I did an intro for today so far. So welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It is Sunday afternoon. And as you can see, I got a little bit of a grocery haul. It was a Walmart delivery. So let's just go over what we got. Uh, we got two half gallon milks and i know buying a whole gallon is cheaper but one of these is going to go in the freezer i've said it before that our refrigerator is pretty small and i only put a half a gallon in at a time so the other half uh will go in the freezer we got a 18 count uh large eggs i got two tubs of uh, whipped topping and that's just to have in the house for desserts I already have one in the freezer and I usually like to keep at least three in there for any kind of desserts. We got a tub of sour cream and then for meat we got a chuck roast there and we're going to do a pot roast right Beth? Oh, yeah. yeah we'll probably just do a pot roast with that with potato potatoes and carrots and uh, probably cream of mushroom soup stuff like that. Sorry for the noise, the neighbor decided to cut the grass on a rainy day. So, um, got a pack of Black Label bacon. Uh, like I said in one of the recent videos I posted, we didn't like the taste of the Great Value brand bacon, um, but I know we do like the Black Label. So, got one pack of that, and of course I'll cut that and split it in two or three packs. For produce, got a head of lettuce, got a five pound bag of carrots, and the reason I got a big bag of carrots is because tonight I'm doing a pork chop dinner where it ha I'll use some of those carrots in there, and I'll use some for the pot roast as well, So, and I'm sure we can use it for other things. Got a three pack of uh, slicing tomatoes, got a 10 pound bag of potatoes, I usually get a five pound bag, but then I always uh, see that I need more. So I got a 10 pound this time. And then got a small tube of summer sausage, got a pack of chopped ham, and then a pack of ham and cheese loaf. So, and we're probably gonna eat something right here because it's lunchtime or it's past lunch and we haven't eaten. So I uh, got two packages of mango, peach, applesauce we like that um got a box of small shell pasta for uh, tuna salad for glenn got some miracle whip got a can of apple pie filling um glenn would like to have an apple pie <laughs> i i told him i just got it for like some apple dessert and he says yeah sure feel like an apple pie <laughs> so i guess it's going to be an apple pie and i'm probably just going to make uh, our own crust and then got two big cans of uh, albacore tuna that's a solid white meat we like that I'll use some for uh, Glenn's pasta salad or tuna salad and we can also just do sandwiches and then you know some of this stuff is just a stock up I've got two small boxes of banana cream pudding and then one box of the chocolate cook and serve pudding that Glenn likes. We already have one in the house. So that'll just be for stock up and a couple of candy bars just for a snack. And of course, down there is the soda. All right. So that is the Walmart grocery haul. Uh, does anybody eat tuna on uh, sandwiches? I got on toast. Uh, Glenn would like to know if anybody out there eats tuna on uh, toasted bread sandwiches. So if you do, just drop that in the comments and uh, let them know that you eat it too or you don't eat it. But that's normally how we eat it. Uh, we mix the albacore tuna with Miracle Whip, uh, toast some bread, and put a slice of cheese on there. 
and we have it like that. So yeah, drop it down in the comments for Glenn if you do or if you don't. And if you do, uh, do you put anything else on it? Give Glenn some ideas. He's pretty open to trying new things. And if you don't, try it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Glenn said, if you don't, try it. <laughs> All right, so that's the grocery haul. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing next, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, everyone, so it is time to make supper, and I am making a pork chop dinner. So I have six of the boneless uh, pork chops we received at the food pantry. I have some sliced potatoes, carrots, and some onions. So I'm just going to start layering everything. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab some uh, carrots and potatoes and layer this. All right. I probably cut a lot of this. <laughs> some onions on there throw some salt and pepper throw some pork chops on there Pepper's already getting to me. Might have to sneeze. <laughs> yep, I had to sneeze. <laughs> Just gonna throw the rest of it on here. Probably overloaded, but and then I'm just gonna throw some uh, tomato soup on there. Yes, we use tomato soup a lot for casseroles and things like that. Now these pork chops won't produce a lot of juices, so. I'll check to see if I need to add any more tomato soup. I just went ahead and put a little tiny bit of water at the bottom just to scrape um, the, port, the tomato soup out of there. This is a great food pantry meal. Um, the pork chops, of course, from the food pantry. The tomato soup actually is from the food pantry as well. We purchase the vegetables, the potatoes, carrots, and onions. So, all right, that's all it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and throw it in the oven, which is already preheated to 350. All right, everyone, so here is our uh, pork chop dinner. Um, I've already served Glenn his plates, but that's what it is. So it's just uh, the pork chops from the pantry, some onions, sliced potatoes, sliced carrots, and some tomato soup. Obviously, you can sub uh, things out for what you like, but that's the way we like our pork chop dinner. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I do appreciate all your support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.